welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is crystal my channel's name is chrysoris21 welcome today's video is actually going to be a review and swatches for the jaclyn hill morphe palette okay the way i will be doing the swatches for the palette is i'm first going to show you the swatches using my finger and um, once i've gone through all of them I'm gonna go ahead and re-swatch the shadows using a eyeshadow brush. After we're done with the swatching, we'll just go ahead and review my review. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. This is the first row. We have in light, beam, silk cream, MFEO, faint, sissy, and little lady. For the second row, we have creamsicle, Butter, Pooter, Pukey, Hunts, Firework, and Queen. In the third row, we have Obsessed, SBN, Hilster, Roxanne, Jax, Buns, and Cranapple. The fourth row is Royalty, Twerk, Hustle, Meeks, 24-7, Chip, and Mocha. For the fifth row, we have Pool Party, Jada, Diva, Enchanted, Central Park, Soda Pop, and Abyss. And here are the swatches with brushes. The first row is in Light, Beam, Silk Cream, MFEO, Faint, Sissy, and Little Lady. Now we have Creamsicle, Butter, Pooter, Pukey, Hunts, Firework, and Queen. For the third row, we have Obsessed, SBN, Hilster, Roxanne, Jax, Buns, and Cranable. For the fourth row, we have Royalty, Twerk, Hustle, Meeks, 24-7, Chip, and Mocha. For the fifth and last row, we have Pool Party, Jada, Diva, Enchanted, Central Park, Soda Pop, and Abyss. Okay guys, so here is the packaging. It is white with silver letters and it says the Jaclyn Hill palette. So you can see here is the front. Hope it's focusing. Here's the back and it's got pictures of her and then it's got a message from her and I'll read that for you. It says Creating this palette has truly been a dream come true for me. Morphe gave me full creativity control, allowed me to customize my dream palette for everyone to enjoy. Every shade was customized by me and I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. I wanted a range of neutrals and pops of colors to accommodate all skin tones. I put my heart and soul into this palette. I hope my pickiness pays off. XO Jacqueline. So here it is. I like the white. I mean, the packaging, it's not like I'm gonna keep it. And here's what you get when you open it. The palette is wrapped in bubble wrap. And here's the name card. Here's the palette. Same thing as the box. As you can see, it's white with metallic letters. And it says the Jaclyn Hill palette once again. And then the back, it's got its little design in JH. And then it says Morphe and um, Jaclyn, as you can see. Now this palette is not plastic like Morphe's normally does, the plastic palettes. Um, it's actually like cardboard. So... I don't think I like that because to me it just feels flimsy, if that makes any sense. If you can see the cardboard, it just looks like really cheaply made. I'm just not digging it. I'm just not digging the cardboard. I would have preferred if they stuck to just the plastic. I love that it's white, it's chic, but is it convenient? No, because what will happen is, is that the more you will use it, the dirtier it will get 
you will start to see like eyeshadow prints or whatever it just you will not be able to keep this clean so that's another um, thing that I'm not digging the second thing that I'm going to talk about is the eyeshadows it comes with the plastic inside so instead of a mirror how they normally have it has a little message from her and it says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. Normally, Morphe's palettes have a mirror here. Um, in my case, it doesn't really bother me that it's missing. These are the eyeshadows, as you can see. I will say this about the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are beautiful. You've got your warm and cool tones, foiled and matte. I mean, there's a different variety. There you've got your browns, your reds, your blues. You have a black eyeshadow right there as well. Another thing is, is that the eyeshadow names are not on the palette, as you can see. If you're going to name the eyeshadows, I think that the least you can do is put the name of the eyeshadows on the palette itself. Pretty inconvenient for makeup gurus, YouTubers, or whatever to have to go back to every single time they use a palette. What if you lose it? Like... That would be annoying. I also want to bring up the eyeshadows. You guys are going to hate me for this, but I honestly think that there is nothing unique about these eyeshadows. A lot of these shades just look similar. Now, on the swatches using an eyeshadow brush, I think you guys noticed that um, it just was not as pigmented, obviously, as using your finger. Some of them, you couldn't even see them. I mean that when you apply this onto your eye, you're going to have to pack that eyeshadow on. So there's that. My overall rating for this palette, one being uh, horrible and ten being the absolute best, I'll go ahead and give this palette a five. It's not great and it's not awful. Would I recommend this palette to you guys? Probably not. Uh, I honestly don't think that there's something crazy unique about it. I don't. I honestly think that you guys probably have something similar, if not the same eyeshadows in y'all's makeup collection. Um, now, if you're starting off with makeup and you don't have a strong variety of eyeshadows, then yes, I would recommend this because it has your warm and your cool shades. Is it a beautiful palette? Of course it is. I mean, you've got some bright colors. You've got some beautiful colors in there. Is it unique? No, it's not unique. Was I expecting more from this palette? Of course, everyone was. I figured that I would go ahead and do a review, and an honest review, because I am not affiliated with Morphe. I paid with this palette with my own money, and that's what most of us do. So it's really difficult when you hear all these people that are affiliated with um, Morphe and they're raving and they're doing and you're going and paying for this item blindly and when you receive it, you're bummed out. So I figured that I would get the palette, I'd do a review and like I said, I was hoping for the best and I mean, it turned out to be okay but not great. I'm hoping that if Jacqueline does decide to make another palette. It's better than this. I mean, obviously you learn and um, the only thing that you can do is grow. So hopefully something better comes out and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if you guys were expecting a rave on this product, but I just felt like I had to be honest about it. So don't hate me for it. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.